Charles O. Yeah, Charles O'Stell. Good to have you here, Charles. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Lynn. Uh, thanks, everyone. Thanks. I mean, I'm just overwhelmed, guys. You've been quiet, Charles. What's <laughs> happening? I'm taking it all in, Ash. Taking it all in. Still processing. Right? <laughs> Still processing. I'm processing longer than Maddie. I think he took, what, 24 hours? Uh, I might take 48. <laughs> it, it's a lot. Uh, actually, Lynn, you shouldn't have let Jean go ahead of me because she just kept on saying the things that I was planning to say. And I, I don't know what else to say, right? But I think she verbalized them better than say I would Say it in have. French. She verbalized them better than I would have, so I appreciate her, really, okay? But I want to say this, though, because as far as I am concerned, this project is divine, okay? Uh, I'm going to say something that I never said before. I, I probably said to a few people. I, I joined on Passive March 1st, 2019. March 1st, 2019. And I had a few people around me uh, in my office, and I said, guys, what these people are trying to do is going to impact the world big time. And at that time, it was just traffic, to tell you the truth. You know, that's it. And I told them, you guys just, it's a hundred dollars. It's a gift. Just put the money in there. Let's wait. It's going to take some time, maybe five years. Who knows? It'll take a while. And they all did. Okay. Because these people, they love me. They do whatever it is that I do. And I kept saying, I'm going to be talking about on passive when the time is right, because I know people are going to say, ah, it's, it's taking too long. So I, I'm trying to gauge when to start talking about it. March 2020, my grandfather who had died 35 years ago appeared to me. I was not sleeping and told me, Charles, what are you doing? I said, why? So you need to talk about this business to everybody you see. It's going to change the people. It's going to change humanity. And he beat me up. I got up. I, I was literally crying, tears coming down my eyes, right? I'm like, okay, I'm going to talk about it. He said, no, do it now. You're taking too long. So that's how it all started for me, okay? And after that, I don't care what anybody says. Anybody who is negative about it, you are out of my life. I'm going to come back to you when we are done. So it's, to me, it's a divine project, and I know Ash is at the helm, and we have to support him to take this to the finish line. I feel bad for those who are going to be coming later, because like Jean said, this whole thing, last webinar prior to, prior to yesterday, when Ash introduced the media, it was a sweet bitter moment for me when Ash because all of a sudden it dawned on me that we're not going to be seeing him like we used to, right? So we used to sing Ash for four hours, five hours, six hours. He's impacted us with a lot of knowledge. I've learned so much. And most of us, most people came because they wanted to make money. Now, <laughs> money is at the background. We're not thinking about it. So these four years, or so four years and change for some, has been the time to prepare our minds. The truth is, we weren't, we weren't ready for that money anyway. We had to be ready. See, that's how God works. So my concern, those that are going to come in, like resellers and customers, especially resellers, and haven't had the kind of mindset preparation that we have had for four years, OK? How are they going to handle it? So we as founders, we have to set the tone, OK? Because these people are going to have to follow us because we are here from the beginning. We know what this is about. This is about changing, lifting humanity, right? That's what this is about. So we have to set the pace. And I'm so happy that, again, like Ash always says, you attract who you are. 
friend, leadership is by influence, right? Look at all these great minds. And the most, one of the most difficult things about leadership is positioning your leaders, putting everybody in the right place, the right people doing the right things. And this is what we've got, okay? It is huge. And like Julie just said, <laughs> the work is just beginning, right? We have 1.4 million founders. That is true. But how many people do we have in the world, right? So, and our job is to change humanity, to eliminate poverty if possible, right? And we know it's possible with Unpassive, and that is where we are going. 1.4 million people is not going to do it, right? Yes, education, we have academy is going to help, okay? We have all these different, we have Enjoy now that's going to help shape the future because now it's going to bring up better human beings, right? In the very near future, two, three, four, five, ten years from now, we're going to have a better world. So everything is falling in place, Ash. And we want to thank you. I just know we have people like us. I know quite a few of us, many leaders here, that are going to die for this project. Because like I say, it is a divine project. Right? And we are blessed. We are chosen. We are the chosen ones, right? So we need to, we need to shine the light. That's what it is. And I'm really, really excited. I'm, like I said, I'm just sinking, taking it all in, right? Because I know for me, I'm preparing my mind. The work is just about to begin. The old media team went to work right away. They started studying developing countries, right? Guess what? I am from a developing country. And I know we all say all the time, AI is going to do the work for us. It's going to fish out everybody, bring us customers and all of that good stuff, right? But here's the problem. If you're not online, AI cannot get to you. It's going to be hard. So in developing countries, where I come from, there are going to be people that if we don't fish them out and bring them in, it might take two, three, four, five years before AI can see them and fish them out. So what does that work? We are looking for leaders that are willing to roll up their sleeves and go to work, right? So that we can help achieve this goal that Aish is heading for us to do, eliminate poverty, make reduce the gap between the poor and the rich. Thank you, Aish. Thank you, all the leaders, for the good job you're doing. Thank you, right. Charles Osan. Yes.